How's it going everyone? In this video we're going to go through Bethlehem Township. Uh, if you watched my previous videos uh, about the Lehigh Valley, this is one of my top five neighborhoods in the Lehigh Valley. Um, in this video, like I said, we're going to go through Bethlehem Township. We're going to go through, you know, different price points of homes that you kind of expect the range you'd be in. Um, just kind of get the general feel of what the area is like. Right now, I'm currently at the Bethlehem Township Municipal Park, um, one of the areas right kind of on the, the eastern side of the, the town. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, Bethlehem Township is just outside of Bethlehem City. Mainly individuals, when they think of you know, Bethlehem, they think of the downtown area, uh, Steel Stacks area, Arts Quest. You're about maybe 10 minutes away at this point. A little bit further, the Municipal Park is a little bit further out. Um, it's a nice little park here, uh, it's a you know, 1.3 mile uh, walking track and um, actually a lot of activity going on right now. You got some guys playing basketball over here. Uh, there's some tennis courts, soccer fields, um, I think two baseball fields as well. There's actually going to be a, a carnival, I don't know if you can see in the back there, but there's, they're having a, uh, the community days this weekend. So they do have a uh, you know, carnival going on here as well, it's just a nice event for for the, the community is probably gonna be pretty busy to be honest with you um but yeah this is a it's a great little park here um it this whole this area right now basically symbolizes what it means to me to be in bethlehem township um because you're it is quiet here it's um you, know, you have you have room to to do some outdoor activities great for families the municipal building uh, down down there is uh, you know they have uh, water slides they have a little water park there um, a lot of little neighborhoods nearby um, not sure if you could hear it but it's quiet around here but you could hear a lot of traffic in the background so as I mentioned in my previous video Bethlehem Township is it's outside of Bethlehem City but you're still you still get that 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 uh, urban feel you know you you have your neighborhoods but you're still pretty close uh, to all the action within Bethlehem. Um, so if you're, if you want to be just outside of a, a, a city or a, you know, busier part of town, Bethlehem Township is a great place for you to be. Here we get a closer look up at the carnival here. Uh, like I said, it's, that's going on this weekend. Um, but overall, it's a, this is a great little park um, and definitely a, a good place to bring your family if you're in the area. So I, you know, if you're looking to move to the Lehigh Valley in the next nine days or 90 days, feel free to reach out, um, subscribe below. You could uh, feel free to give me, uh, sell, send me an email, shoot me a text or uh, any other way, and I'll be happy to reach out to you. So let's, uh, we're going to go through some of the price point, uh, the price points of the houses in this area, and um, you get an idea of what you'd be looking at at the different ranges. So let's go take a look. All right, everyone, we're at our first price point here, and we're looking at anywhere between 200 to $400,000. And this is in Bethlehem Township. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, we're looking at a lot of ranchers, some colonials, um, typically, you know, anywhere between 1,200 to 2,200 square feet, you know, one or two car garage, usually, uh, you know, smaller driveway. Um, no sidewalks in this particular neighborhood, which one of my pet peeves about the Lehigh Valley is no sidewalks. But one thing that's nice, it's a really quiet area. Um, again, Bethlehem Township, you're ju just outside of the city of Bethlehem. And uh, this particular neighborhood is you know, pretty close to Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, you have a lot nearby. There's Bounce Plex nearby for your kids. Um, there's an industrial park as well. There, so a lot of jobs nearby. Um, banks and Northampton Country Club's about maybe a block or so over, um, but it's a it's a you know nice neighborhood. You got a lot of mature trees. You got um, you know these houses have been here probably seventies, eighties, most of them. Um, but typical family home that you're gonna get. Uh, there's parks nearby. There's two or three of them. The municipal uh, park that we were at before. It's about a mile away. Um, but overall, it's a, it's a nice little neighborhood to be in. 
So let's um, go take a look at our next price point and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we're at our next price point and hey, we got sidewalks. All right, great. I'm not gonna get hit by any cars on this run, which is good to know. It's good when you're, you're filming these videos, you know, you never know if you're gonna get hit. So our next price point here, we're looking at 600 to $800,000. Um, you can see, you know, definitely a lot bigger of homes. Uh, anywhere between, you know, 2,500 to, you know, 3,200 square foot, four bedroom, five baths, or, you know, four bedroom, five bedroom to, you know, three or four baths. Um, typically sitting on, you know, two thirds of an acre usually. Um, here's a little bit smaller. You're either going to give up some of the house to get more land, um, or you're going to get a newer modern house with more square footage on just a little bit less land. Um, but this, that's what it is basically for this specific neighborhood. And, uh, what I really like about this neighborhood is, you know, it's not overbearing with the foliage. They did a really good job, actually. Um, a lot of the neighborhoods around in Bethlehem, you get these trees that are just enormous and they're overgrown and they're just like, they're just crazy. They're, you get, you, you, you can't even walk through them sometimes, but this is really w well taken care of. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see it's, it's just a quiet little neighborhood to live in. You're, you're, again, you're not far from the last neighborhood that we were just checking out. Um, you're still in the same school district here. Uh, Freedom High School, good school district. Um, you're not far away from the action. And as I mentioned at the municipal park, you know, you still get that faint that you can still hear the highway nearby. And you're not going to get rid of that in Bethlehem Township because you're just, you're not far enough away yet. Um, so, but, you know, it's a nice place to sit out back. You could, you know, you could get a nice evening, but it would just drive me nuts, not to be honest with you, if I'd be sitting out on my porch and I hear the highway. But I'm sure a lot of people don't mind that. Um, might just be me. But again, really nice neighborhood to be in. Um, this would be a great one for just walking with families. You get your kids uh, taking a stroll at night. Um, it is, again, it's fairly quiet. Um, and yeah, you don't have to get worry about getting run over. So let's go take a look at our next price point and we'll see what we can get for that. Okay, guys, so we're at our last price point in homes and this is going to be a million dollar plus usually one to 1.5 million um even you know a lot of them are, are more than that even you could be getting up anywhere even to two million in some of these these homes here they kind of vary a little bit specifically in bethlehem township but uh you know obviously a very expansive home quite a bit of land you're looking at a little bit over an acre here um six to seven bedrooms uh four or five bathrooms usually three, four, or five car garages, pretty common. Um, but definitely a well-developed neighborhood. Um, the homes are very spread apart. Like I said, you're on a little bit over an acre for most of these homes. Um, very big homes though. A lot of uh, stonework, a lot of mason work. It's just definitely, you know, a top tier you know, development. Um, typically most of these homes are professionally landscaped um what's weird is i don't really see a lot of people out here actually i don't, I don't see a lot of action i mean i guess that's pretty common for this time of the day but uh what, what's nice about this area especially like being in bethlehem township um is and that's with all of the neighbors here is they're, they're really not that far apart to be completely honest with you. you could drive from one to the other to the other in 10 to 15 you know five ten minutes tops um like i mentioned you're you're pretty close to the action but what's really nice is you know, if you do want to get further out, if you want to go somewhere else, you want to go up to the Poconos or um, you want to go to East and you want to go to Allentown or you want to go further out West, maybe to Kutztown or whatever it may be, you, you're a short drive to 33. It takes you about, I don't know, maybe five minutes to get on 33. And from there, you can basically go wherever you want. And um, it's, it's really, you know, not a difficult drive at all, especially once you get on 33, you can either go up north to the Poconos or... Uh, go wherever else you want to go, but that takes care of our property tours at our different price points uh, As I mentioned if you're looking to move in the next nine or 90 days feel free to reach out um, Give me all my information is in the description below Give me a call shoot me a text write me an email however you want to get reach out to me feel free to do it I do want to go over one more one more section in Bethlehem Township as I had kept mentioning you're pretty close to the action um, we're not going to go into Bethlehem City. I want to stay within Bethlehem Township, 
but just to give you an idea of if you wanted to go down the downtown downtown area you know see what's around uh, the restaurants kind of what it would look like um, we're gonna head there next so let's go take a look all right guys so we're at our last stop here at Bethlehem Township and we are basically right in the, the center of Bethlehem Township this is uh, we're coming on Easton Avenue here and um, Steph Cole Boulevard we're kind of uh, at the epicenter here um, you got all your important stuff here you know you got your Wawa of course um, Taco Bell one thing that really bothers me about the Lehigh Valley is that there is no Long John Silvers and I eat one Long John Silvers maybe once a year sorry it's like a family tradition we do it for Christmas um, but for that one time a year I gotta drive about 45 minutes just to get some some Long John Silvers which is really annoying but that's a side note separate note uh, a few pizza places around here really good spots uh, Pizza Como it's actually right on the corner down here really good spot for pizza and wings uh, Big Woody's is a great have a great little back out uh, a little deck out in the back which is is pretty nice um, one thing about Bethlehem Township uh, the employers if you're moving here for a job or in the Lehigh Valley in general for a job one of the main employers in the Lehigh Valley is St. or the health network St. Luke's Lehigh Valley Health Network St. Luke's one of uh, their Anderson campus it's a new campus um, they made about three years ago that's only about a mile and a half away um, so you're you're pretty close to that. Lehigh University is another another big one around here. That's close. That's close in Lower Saucon, uh, but again, you're only about I don't know five miles away from there as well. Um, just born. Uh, you may know Peeps. We make Peeps here. We have Peeps Fest. Um, the manufacturing plant is here. Uh, my favorite would be hot tamales, but they make that there as well. One thing that you will know is that when they're making the hot tamales around here, you can smell them. So. If you live in Bethlehem Township and you're near Just Born, you're gonna smell the candy that they make. Um, so that may tempt you here as well. But you know, as you can see, it's pretty busy. You know, there's a lot of a lot a lot of commotion going on. Uh, this is just one of the main areas to get to and from inside and outside of Bethlehem Township. If you're going inside the city, or if you're going towards 33, or you're going somewhere else, you're probably gonna be going on this road quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that's that really takes us through Bethlehem Township. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you uh, to make your move as smooth and easy as possible. Like I'd mentioned, if you're moving in the next nine or 90 days, feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, an email. Everything's in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and I hope to see you around the neighborhood.